Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be learning how to handle files in Python. So what do we mean by that is we will learn how to write text to a file and also how to read some text from a file. Right? So let us start. So what do we need is first I want to let's say write some text to a file. So for that, I need a file first. I need a file onto which I will write some text. I will write some random text. So now currently in my directory, I have only this file one.py, which is a Python file. So this is not a text file. And I want a text file where I want to write some text. So let me create a file in the same directory. So in order to not to confuse ourselves, so I'll create a new file. Let's say, users.txt and this file is a text file because it is having the .txt extension. Now this file when I open this file I'm seeing that uh, no text is there it is a blank file. I want some text to be present in this file right and these text files are basic files that we can open with notepad and all okay fine so what do I do here here <clears throat> Here I need to use some methods or functions which is already provided by Python. So there is a function called open function. Okay, this open function will help us to write text to a file. Now let us see what I will do is I will create a function. In that function, I will write the code for uh, writing the text into a file and then I will call the function later on if I want to read or write. So first I'm going with writing. So I'll create a write, sorry, write to file. So this is a write to file function. And inside this, I need to write the code for writing the text into the file. So for that, we what we need is we need a open function. Now, let me take a variable like this. Let's say file is equal to open. This is the syntax for writing the using the open function. So here this open function will take for the time being we'll use two arguments. We'll pass two arguments. That means it will have two what it is called values which is needed by this open function. So the first argument that I will pass is the name of the file. So the name of the file is users.txt. So I'll pass users.txt. And the second argument I need to pass is the open mode. What is the mode in which I want to open this file? So now I am going to write something. So I'll use the write mode. So the write to specify the write mode, we write a W. W means write mode. When we open the file using this W mode or the write mode, it will be opened. The file will be open. Which file? Users.txt file. Users.txt file will be opened with the write mode in order to write. Now, next, inside this uh, <coughs> function, I have just opened the file. I have not written anything. I have told Python that I will open the file for writing. That's it. But I have not written anything. Now, the next step is to write something into the file. So using this file object, we have this file object because this open function is returning something to this file. So it is having the file object. Now what I will do is file dot write is the function that I need to write some text. So this inside this function, I have to pass what I want to write. So let's say I pass hello world. So if I pass this hello world to this file dot write, function it will write the hello dot world a uh, hello world text into the file now see we have nothing in this file it is empty so after writing this hello world what i'll do is uh, after writing this text it will go into that file so what i need to do is till now whatever i have written i have written inside a function so this code will be executed only when i call the function so i call the function now write to file the moment I call this, so first let me run this file, this Python file, py1.py, and press enter. 
So nothing is uh, nothing is printed in the uh, terminal because I have not used any print statement here. But let us see when I run this file, this function has been called. After the function has been called, these might have executed, isn't it? So let us check the users.file. When I go to users.txt file, we can see that hello world is written onto the file. So that means we are able to write the text into this file. So now let me write something more. If I write here instead of hello world, I write welcome and save it and run the file. And I can see now welcome is written onto the file. Fine. So our uh, write function is totally working fine. That means we are able to successfully write some text into a file. Now, just uh, please note that we have opened the file in the beginning with the write mode. We have opened the file and we started writing, but we didn't close the file. So this is not this is not a safe way to write some text onto a file. Whenever we are trying to write some text onto a file, we first open it, we write it, and then we must close it. Otherwise, the file is open. Right? So what we need to do is we need to close the file as well after writing it. Not before writing it, but after writing. If I close it before writing, the write function will not work. Right? So let us see now. So how do we do that? We use the close function. So here, just after our write operation is over, I can do file dot close. So this file dot close function, what it will do is it will close the file after writing. So now we will not see any difference because uh, that thing is happening internally because we are uh, we are just writing welcome into the file. So only the welcome. So if I write here hi, so we will get only the hi in the text. But internally, what is happening? after the file is written after the text is written it is the file is closed right this is how we can write on it now now we have seen that when i am writing some new text here instead of high let's say now the high text is there and uh, let me write something here let's say welcome to edupoly and save it and run the file what do I get is, I get welcome to Edupoly text in the users of text. Now, every time I am writing some new text, uh, the new text is replacing the old text in the file. That is what is happening. The old text, whatever is there, it is being replaced by the new text. But I may not want uh, the write operation to behave in these, this way. I may not want it to be behaving in this way. So I may want something like first I uh, write Raju. So the Raju should be written to the file. Next I write another name. Let's say Ramesh. Ramesh should be written onto that file after Raju. So I want I want to write uh, the name of 10 people. So all the 10 people's names should be written on the file. But if I follow the current uh, approach what is happening the new person's name is replacing the old person's name so i'm getting only one uh, data or one uh, name at a time i'm not getting what i want i want a list of people right and i want to enter it one by one so for that this approach will not help us so we have to go with a new approach we have to go with a new approach so the new approach is we have to open the file with another mode. This write mode will not help us. So we have another mode called the append mode. It is written like this A. The A mode is known as append mode. When we use the append mode, we will be able to write some new text after the previous text. What was written in the file. Okay. Now let us try this. So let me remove what was there in the file and we'll start from beginning. So first I am writing a Ramesh file dot right. So I'm opening the file with append mode and then I'm writing a Ramesh onto the file. Now let us see the file is saved and let me run it. So what I got here, I got here Ramesh. Now let me write another name. 
let's say Suresh. What will happen now? Uh, I run the file and what do I get here? I got Ramesh Suresh. Now the old text is not getting replaced by the new text. Instead, what is happening? It is written after the old text. So this is how the append mode is to be used. But we can observe one thing that the name is sticking to each other. The names are sticking to each other. That means after Ramesh, it is coming. The Suresh is coming in the same line, but I want it in a new line, let's say. Then we need to just little bit modify the code. Whatever we have written, it is working as expected, but we have not specified that uh, Suresh should go to the next line. So what I do is, so let me remove the text now for the time being. And let me go back and write something like this. Whenever I'm writing this Suresh, I should add a new line character. So new line character is denoted by this backslash n. So now let's see. I So the file is empty now. Now I run this code. <clears throat> so Suresh should be written there. Yes, totally fine. Now let me write another name, Raju. When I save this and uh, run this file, when I go here, I can see Raju is printed on the next line. And we have the next line ready for printing the new name. Let's say I write one more name, like Sita. Save it. And go to the run and go to the file. And we can see Sita is also written. And the next line is ready. So this way, we can use the append mode instead of the write mode if we want to add new items to the file, add new text to the file. Right. And also we can use this new line character if we want the things to or the, the text to go to the next line. Right. This is all about the write and append. Now, uh, whatever uh, write or append we are doing, uh, if you note one thing that every time we need to open the file, do our operation, maybe writing something and then we need to close it. Every time I want to write something, I will open the file, I will write it and I will close it. So this is a bit tedious. Every time I have to open, write and close, open, write and close. So this thing can be minimized. So Python has a new technique to minimize this uh, rewriting. So what we can do is we have a method or it is not a method, it is a statement. We have a statement called with using that with statement if i open the file i don't need to close it because what it will do is it will automatically it is very smart it will automatically open the file do the operation and once the operation is complete it will automatically close the file so let us see how do we do that so i'll remove these three lines and i'll write with so this is the with statement these are all inbuilt things whatever open i'm doing whatever with statement i'm using these are all inbuilt we don't need to import any module or anything into Python. So with open, I'll open the file using the with statement. Inside open, I'll write the same things, whatever I wrote, users.txt, comma, the mode, let's say append the mode, or write mode, whatever you want. Then I have to write here as some variable, f or G or X or Y, whatever you want. So I'll use something like file as file. So we need a variable here. It will be opened and the file object will be stored in that file variable, right? Now in the next line, I have to do the same things what I had done, file dot write, let's say Raju plus new line and save this and run the file and i go there i can see raju has come here and i don't have the close statement because this which statement is automatically what it is doing the moment uh, this part is over uh, this writing is over it is it will automatically close it so this is a little bit safer way to uh, write the code not safer way because uh, already we had the close statement there close function there, but this is a minimized version of that. Okay. Less syntax is actually of less syntax. Fine. So this is how we can use the with statement 
to right uh, right in the the right mode or append mode your wish you can use right mode or append mode. whatever is the requirement we can use it okay then next next let us move on to reading how do we read the text from the file so now we have some text in our file and it now we need to know how to read the file so let me create a function for read file okay here we have again <coughs> first we need to open it in the same manner we have to open it and then we need to read it so what i did in the beginning file we created a variable file is equal to open users dot txt and then we were specifying the mode but what happens is so for reading the mode is r for writing the mode is w for reading the mode is r but what happens in python is that if i don't specify this read mode or any mode what happens is it opens the file by default in read mode okay so the meaning of this statement that means without passing the mode and with passing a read mode is the same the meaning of both the statements are same so it is your wish if you want to pass you can pass the r mode or else if you, even if you don't pass it will work totally fine because by default it will automatically open the file in read mode fine okay so let us avoid that mode part here so that it will minimize our syntax so the file is opened the file is just open but it is not read so i have to read the file now file dot read but this file dot read will be done after reading where the data will be stored so we need to store the data as well so this file dot read will return the text or whatever we have it in that file it will we need to store it so let me uh, create a variable like file data file data is equal to file dot read now i need to print the file data so that i can see what is written in the file what is present in that file so print file data first time opening the file in read mode without any arguments then we are reading the file and storing the data in file data and then i am printing it fine so now let us call this function read file and i call this read file now let us see let me run this and i can see i am able to get the text from that file in our terminal we are able to print it so this way we can print the data present in that file right now <clears throat> now see here when i am reading the data i am writing a read i am using the read function but this read function can also take some argument that argument is known as size as you can see from here size is an integer value so now what does that integer value do so when i am not passing any anything what it is doing the read function is reading the whole file we can see suresh raju sita raju is there and we are able to get all the text but if i pass an integer let's say one if i pass one what will happen one is known as the size so it denotes the number of bytes to be read from that file so if i now run this file i'll say i'm getting only s what is happening is each character is uh, having a memory of one byte so every letter is of one byte so uh, when i said please read only one byte the meaning of this line is please read only one byte so it read only s so if i now uh, pass something like a read of three so it will read three bytes so now i will get s u r in the output right so this way you can if you don't want to read the whole file you can specify the number of bytes you want to read so let's say i pass here 12 so what will happen it will read only 12 bytes so it wrote only 12 bytes it is reading only 12 bytes s u r e s h is six then there is a new line character after Sudesh, if you remember. After Sudesh, there is a new line character here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So after Raju also, there is a new line character. So that up to that new line character, it is a reading. So that's why we are getting uh, two lines of uh, text in the output. 
okay this is how you can uh tell python how much you want to root how many bytes you want to read fine next next uh, we need we need to know how to use the with statement here because uh, again what we are not doing here is the close so this is the way i am doing this is not the correct way so what i need to do is i need to close it file dot close this way i need to close the file fine again here what we need to do is we need to learn how to use the with statement so in a similar way i will use the with statement so with open which file users dot txt file and no need to specify the mode because uh, we want to open it in a read mode then as file and then we can do here file data is equal to file dot read file data equal to file dot read and then you can specify the number of bytes if you want and then print the file data like this and no need to close it because the with statement will automatically close the file after reading so after reading it will print it and once this block is over automatically it will close it so fine so let us now see when i run this i am getting suresh and raju if i pass here eight i get suresh up to r because that is the eighth byte that's it okay this is how we can handle files in python and we have seen the write mode and we have seen append mode and also we have seen the read mode as well and also we have seen how to safely open and close the file using the with statement so this with statement is very important it is a best practice uh, used everywhere instead of the normal open and close approach okay that's it that's it for this session see you in the next